Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? the one who seeks or you are the one who seeks it has been a while hey I have been working on resumes and trying to figure out how to get sponsorships uh, working on a, a second YouTube channel for my interior design at Corrent Design which means one who seeks Okay, today I'm just going to try to get a reading in and feel like it's been forever since I've been here, um, being distracted by so many other things, which is so funny because I feel like, you know, most people are trying to become YouTube influencers and get rid of the job that they have right now, but I don't have a job right now. <laughs> So, you know, this is my job, um, and then learning so many different things right now. Um, but I'm having to put this on hold so that I can put together a portfolio and a resume and apply to different actual physical jobs. I want to, um, get out of the house, right? <laughs> because, uh, I've been sitting around too much. I'm having some ailments and some issues with that, so... I need to get out. I need to socialize with others um, and start feeling a lot better about myself and what I'm doing, right? So anyway, anywho, um, thank you for being here and I'm sorry that I made you wait so long for a reading. So we are going to do the eight coins tattoo tarot rose spread today this came with my cards and um it looks like a pretty good spread so we're gonna go for it i'm going to do um a couple of oracle cards first to kind of get the topic of what we're going to be talking about today so the rose spread is um about forming a question or an issue to explore in this reading, the rose spread was designated to consider both your internal feelings and external objective realities about a situation. Place the first card face up in the center and place the other six cards around it as shown. Okay. But I'm going to pick some oracle cards to kind of get the topic first. So normally I do my oracle cards for confirmation after doing my tarot. But we're going to do it a little different right now. Um, just because I feel like I'm so stuck in my own head right now. All right. And I just explained how I'm doing all these different things so that I get a job and you know, my passion is an in interior design and my passion is an in tarot. Those things don't really go together, but I can design your tarot room for you, right? So, um, just trying to figure out what my priorities are, what I want to do first, um, having that order, right? And the frustration of trying to find a, a new job. Uh, I want a career. I don't want a job, right? I want something that I'm passionate about. So let's see if I can kind of get out of that. We'll see if uh, a new topic will kind of pop up here. 
for the collective. I do invite all energies that are of loving energy um, to join us in this reading. The angels, Archangel Michael. Gabriel, Raphael, to guide us on our path. Let me be a clear and open path for our guidance. Okay. Oh, we have the werewolf. This is so funny because I was literally just thinking about the spread I did with the werewolf. And um, because I had quite a bit of views on that one. And the werewolf was actually a card from a game. Um, so it's interesting that this pops up. So exploring wildness. Okay. And I can't really see my screen on my phone here right now. So I'm not sure if any of this is going to be in your vision. Um, I know that the spread is in your vision right now, but I, I like to show you, uh, the details of the cards, right? So this man is turning into a werewolf at the full moon. There seems to be a lot of turbulation in this transformation. Uh, we have like these branches here. It almost kind of look like lightning to me. Okay, and Eternal love. Love is love is love. And it transcends physical death. Interesting. So, you know, with the werewolf, the werewolf is looking for, for flesh and blood, right? To survive. And then we have the eternal love here. Okay, that's the Halloween Oracle. Um, we are doing the Oracle of the Mermaids here. These are the decks I felt drawn to. They're kind of random, like they don't really fit with each other, but it's what I was drawn to. And Soul Cage, Rescue, Escape from Captivity and Restriction. Mermaid saving this guy. Like I said before, this reminds me of the Little Mermaid, where she is saving the prince from drowning after the ship caught on fire. Right, and I kind of like that with this. This um, soul cage and eternal love kind of feel like they go together. Honor the masculine. Respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. All right, and this mermaid actually kind of has some feminine qualities to him. So I find it interesting that we're honoring the masculine. All right, let's see if we can see those cards in there. Mostly. All right. Right, and these are, both look like some transformation is happening here. Right, he almost looks like he is transforming into the mermaid, or maybe he's turning into a man and was a mermaid, which is much like the werewolf here. So there's definitely some transformation going on, um, some death. I can see some love in here. And this is talking about uh, life after death. You still have love even after death. You take that with you. Um, rescue escape from captivity and restriction. Maybe there's some restrictions in your love. Maybe it feels like a death. 
some sort of transformation that's really uncomfortable. Okay. And then we're gonna get a couple cards here. All right, journalist, chronicler of stories, reporting, interview, inquiry, promotion. Right, so I kind of feel like that's what I'm doing right now uh, as an influencer. I'm kind of journaling the energy of the collective right now and I'm reporting it, right? Uh, I am I have an inquiry. We're talking about jobs and promotions, right? And then we have lost soul. Holy cow. All right. Seeker of clarity, wanderer, confusion, defeat, struggle. Okay, well, I'm trying to get away from my whole energy of, you know, feeling like a lost soul and <laughs> trying to figure out, you know, interviews. Um, but it kind of just brought me back to that energy. I feel like um, maybe there are a lot of you out there dealing with the same thing. You know, there's a lot of things happening to where people just don't want to work at all. And... Uh, companies are not really offering much of an incentive for you to want to work with them. They, um, I feel like don't treat their employees very well. Most of them, you know, not everyone, not every company, but in my experience in life, um, uh, there really hasn't been any companies that I feel like respect you, um, uh, or really care about you. Yeah, I've had a couple of managers and uh, co-workers that I felt like I was really respected. Um, but for the company itself, no. All right, so we will get some more information here in the spread about this. Um, I feel like there's so much transformation going on right now that you should probably be writing it down, right? Journaling it because you're so lost and uh, this is a death, right? Either somebody is preying on you or this could be like a self imprisonment of the mind. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit, for being here. Can you please tell me more about the core issue of this reading is about? <laughs> this is about struggle. You're having some struggle here. Um, this guy... Looks like he's been working really hard, traveling pretty far um, on this journey uh, in the mountains here and is kind of roughed up, right? It looks like the werewolf kind of got a hold of him. Uh, he's bleeding or sweating, has a bandana on his head, has some cuts under his eyes, has um, a wrap around his arm here. Is this the core issue, right? Yeah, so we're talking about struggles and uh, survival, right? Because you don't want to die and you have this huge transformation going on. You're lost. Maybe you're lost out in the woods. You're lost in love. Um, exploring wildness, right? So... You definitely have been explored some wildness out here, um, maybe about the real world and how to survive. And you're feeling a little beat up. Your past feelings or attributes about the issue. You're very positive about it. 
right? Your past feelings about it, you've always been pretty positive. You keep looking forward. Um, you keep collecting these spheres of information. Right? And we have wands again. Wands are fastest moving. It's about fire. It's about the passion. Right? You have the passion. You keep trying to move it forward quickly, maybe too quickly. Before you get all the information and um, are prepared for this, right? Prepare for it. Your past actions. Oh, the devil. Right? Like I just said, uh, self imprisonment of your mind. Right? This is imprisonment by energies around you although you can untie yourself you are still trapped by it right you're looking at it straight in the eye you're looking the other way you're up on this pedestal You're vulnerable, you're naked, you're on your knees. Okay, so I feel like maybe even though you're very hopeful here and you have this fast action, you kind of feel like you're stuck. Um, you know, in the past, this is past actions, like you didn't put enough action into it. for this transformation to happen, for this love to grow. Hmm. Let's see, the universe's advice for the present. Ooh, jumper. All right, uh, look to the sun and the moon, um, cultivate a new path. You know, heal yourself, come back to the mountains here. This is the advice for the present. You know, really listen to your heart, what it's telling you. You know that there's something out there for you, um, but you have to go and explore it. That's about emotions there, the cups. You know, it's eight, which is eternity, right? If you look at the eight, it's the uh, infinity symbol. It's about abundance. But you have to go searching for it. You have to look to the sky. The sky has some answers for you. Slow down maybe so that you don't beat yourself up so much. You know, your present feelings and ideas. Oh, okay, I really feel like there's actually ideas coming out of this head here, right? We have like this cloud smoke coming out of the back of the head that has a staircase. It's just, this kind of reminds me of like the heavens. You guys have the city way down here that looks like the devil energy, right? The city has a lot of um, people who are trying to steal your energy. You're right, and you have a lot of things going on. There's not just one thing happening at a time, right? All these different ideas are coming through and you're contemplating them. I'm trying to make the decision which way to go. Yeah, the 
this is very spiritual as well, right? Because you're now out of all of the chaos of the community and you're just becoming one with nature and the heavens. Okay, where the situation is heading. The lovers, see? Eternal love. Your soul cage, right? I feel like this is a lover's card here. And it is a six. Um, the lover's card is a six. It's about harmony. And having harmony, right? In this physical death. In this love. Where the situation is heading. So we got uh, two snakes intertwined with some roses. Looks like they're kissing with their little snake tongues. You know, and this could be um, a physical person or this could be something like your career, right? <laughs> we do have a strong energy of career right now. Um, with the journalist over here. And the energies that I'm feeling, right? So it could be something that you love, something that you are manifesting here, that you're thinking about. And the devil is also a lover's card, right? You feel trapped in some sort of situation. And I think that will be resolved once you find your path, once you sort through your thoughts and maybe poke through some of them and then take some up to the next level and you sort it out, right? Because you have all these things going on. You have so many spheres that you have to sort them out. You're, you're opening up these spheres and they're turning into puff balls of smoke or, you know, just energy. And they're really starting to come alive. And that's going to open up your heart. It's going to help you escape from this restriction, this uh, captivity. The universe's advice for the future. The High Priestess. All right. Uh, this is very much about your spirituality and looking to the stars and getting the answers and meditating through it. Uh, the High Priestess doesn't speak. You have to ask the right questions, right? So this is what we're doing here. This guy is not speaking here either. This is very internal. Are you asking yourself the right questions of what it is that you want? Yeah, I feel like you just need to relax because you're all knowing already. You already know what you want, but you're all beat up about it because you feel like you're trapped. It's definitely <clears throat> eating you up here. Okay, you need to step into your, your masculine energy here, or your masculine needs to step it up. Maybe you're feeling like you're being eaten alive here. You have a death, your lost soul. You just journal about this.
Okay, I want to know who, um, what this lover's card is representing here. If this is another person. Or it has to do with, okay, <laughs> holy cow, you see how that jumped out? The Ten of Pentacles. It's a beautiful card. This is definitely about another person. This is about family. Right, that you have the child, you have the two dogs. You have your home in the background here. You have your community. This is about connecting with someone else. And you're really in your head about it. You want you want to find the new path. You want to release yourself from feeling trapped, from beginning beat up. Right? And this is very black and white. There's no color in there. It's either, you know, it's got to be one way or the other. But you have all these ideas and you have all the knowledge. Right? You have hopes and dreams. You are expecting something. And you're not getting it. So this is why you feel beat up. This is why you feel like you're getting eaten alive. I feel like the, the divine masculine needs to kind of come out, right? And not be so loving and nurturing all the freaking time. And be more um, in control and more a little bit more demanding. that you can you free your soul your soul is so lost but you have this love you know I have but you feel like you're dying at the same time yeah Cause you got a lot of confusion here. You got defeat. You got struggle. Is this the Ten of Pentacles that this lover is going to be able to offer you? of wands there's a little bit of a competition going on here and maybe it's between your lover and yourself or your feminine and your masculine you don't really know how to be because these people here kind of look like they're fighting but they're play fighting like, this is not very serious. Like, this is a group of friends who are just having, like, a sword fight. Right? But there's still a little bit of struggle in that because there's, like, an objective to the game. So what is your objective? The lovers, right? You want to have that love. You want to feel free. You want to be on the right path. I don't feel like this spread's giving me enough information. I don't know. Okay, can you tell me more about this information?
Cups, Pentacles, Swords. So the only thing missing is the Wands, which is what our original card was here. And our original card underneath, which is fast movement, right? So I feel like maybe things moved too quickly. And so you're unsure of it. Because here you are contemplating it. This is You're contemplating your emotions and you're kind of throwing a little bit of a fit. This is being offered to you, but you're turning your back and you're like, well, these cups aren't full. Can you offer me something more tangible? Right? Can you take some movement? You're just standing there. You're kind of dangling this carrot in front of me. Like you're offering something. Right? Because this is literally being offered. But you're trying to ignore it. Or you just don't see it. Or you want to throw a fit about it. And then the knight here is contemplating which way to go. I don't know. Do I want to offer this pentacle to this queen over here? Like you are the queen, but you need to be stepping into your masculine energy. You know, maybe this knight can't offer this to you because you are so high up in the clouds here, right? You are spiritually above this person who feels like they're not moving. It's very slow movement. So your lover here does want this with you, the Ten of Pentacles, wants this family with you, but there's so many fights and struggles going on. And it's kind of lighthearted, but not really at the same time because, you know, maybe somebody's going to smash their finger in there, or poke somebody's eye out, or, you know, accidents happen. You say the wrong thing, you can't take it back. You do the wrong thing. You can't take it back. Like if you're taking quick action on something. All right. And this person is just kind of standing still. Uh, trying to figure out which way to go. Or just staring at the pinnacle. They're not. It doesn't even seem like they're really thinking about anything. They're just like, oh, I'm just going to post it up here. right which is holding you back because you have so much going on inside your head and this person just is like blank right there's a lot of spirituality here this is a lot of connecting with the universe and the land and the sky this is about your your mind this is a motherly energy. You're very nurturing, right? Like I was saying, maybe you feel like that's holding you back because you're being too nurturing and this person is just fucking standing there. Come on, let's move. Like almost like waving them on, like, let's go. Come on. Like I'm up here waiting for you. What are you doing? So you're kind of throwing a little bit of a fit here because, um, holy shit, and the devil card here on um, the bottom of the deck. And then we have the ace of cups, right? Which is that cup right there that's being offered. It's literally a hand with a cup. Okay, you need to unshackle yourself with this person because they're holding you back. And as soon as you do that, you're going to have this offer and you're going to feel good and your emotions are going to be able to pour out. Okay, well, it's an interesting reading. My energy definitely felt a little off and hesitant um you know it's kind of hard to do a tarot reading without bringing in some of my own personal energies 
because I am the one writing it, right? And I can only bring you knowledge of what I know. I don't know anything about being this werewolf. You know, and how this werewolf might feel like they're they're a lost soul and they're in a cage. Because of the scary transformation. Okay, this is 10. This is uh, endings and new beginnings. New harmony. We have foundation. You know, the, some sort of foundation needs to be laid down. In order for you to move forward and be in this high position of sitting pretty and not stuck in your head and feeling in agony. Okay, well, thank you for being here with me. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free to do so. Uh, it really helps my channel out. It helps me out. Um, and I thank the angels for being here and guiding us on this collective reading. And I will hopefully see you really soon and try not to wait as long. Um, before I do another reading. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.